Have you ever wished to get the statistics for your landing pages right within your WordPress dashboard and to be able to A-B test your opt-in forms? Well, if you combine the power of Thrive Leads with Thrive Architect, you can. Hi, I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Thrive Leads in combination with Thrive Architect so that you can see how many people sign up for your landing page and that you can even A-B test your opt-in form light boxes. Let me show you how this is done. So first of all, let's create a new page, edit it with Thrive Architect and load one of the landing page templates. Go to page setup, change landing page templates. And let's pick the mini squeeze one here. Now let's pick one of the two-step opt-in forms. Let me preview this page. And here, as you can see, when somebody clicks on the button, they are presented with this opt-in form. Now, as you can see, all of this can be accomplished with only Thrive Architect because you kind of have a light version of Thrive Leads that's included in Thrive Architect that allows you to do this kind of lead generation. But if you want to turn it up a notch and you want to be able to A-B test these opt-in forms and to get your statistics, so to know exactly how many people signed up on which one of the variations, then you can replace this opt-in form with a Thrive Leads Thrive box. And this is what we're going to do now. So for this, go to your Thrive Leads dashboard. And in the Thrive boxes, click on Add New. Give it a name. And edit it. Now let's pick our first variation and call this image. And then for the A-B testing, we're actually going to add a second form in here. So let's edit this. And now in the opt-in templates, you can see that we have templates that start with LP for landing page. So you can see landing page and then the name of the set of the landing page. So this is something new that we added to Thrive Leads because now you actually have all the designs of the landing page opt-in forms that are available in Thrive Leads. So let's pick the one that was actually used for this landing page, designed for this landing page. And now let's say that this is our first variation. So let's simply save this. This is our variation with the image. Of course, when you click on here, you have to connect it with your service and you can change everything, the text and add elements. But let's say that this is our first form. Now for the A-B testing, we can clone this form. So in your Thrive Leads dashboard, in the Thrive boxes, in the one that we just created, so the mini squeeze one, you just clone the existing opt-in form. And then let's edit this design. Now let's tweak this opt-in form and let's imagine that we want to test an opt-in form with an image against an opt-in form with a bullet list. So in this case, we would delete the image and add a list. So a styled list in here. Maybe make this column a bit smaller and make this a bit bigger. And let's check out maybe this color of the button to see. So this green color, I want to add it as one of my favorites. And now I can use it here in my styled list. So let's go to the styled list and to the icon colors and I can use the same green. And now I can simply add the text that I want in here. And this is, for example, how I want my second opt-in form to look. So let's save this. Now, when I go back to the Thrive Leads dashboard and I go back to the mini squeeze Thrive box, I can actually start the A-B test. So just click on the green button, start A-B test, and let's give it a name, image, no image. And you can even use the automatic winner settings if you don't want to worry about this opt-in form anymore and you just want Thrive Leads to decide when um, one of the two forms is better, then you can set this automatic winners, winner settings, click on enabled, and Thrive Leads will, after the conditions are met, only show the best performing opt-in form. So this is a way to optimize your conversion rates even without ever worrying about it again. So let's start the test. Now for the moment, this Thrive box is not showing yet because you haven't connected it to your landing page. So that's the last thing that you have to do. Let's go back to our landing page. 
Now to connect this landing page with the lightbox that you just created in Thrive Leads, click on the button, make sure that the button is selected and go to animations and actions. So in the animations and actions menu, you can see that for the moment on click, so click here on the edit icon, you can see that it opens a Thrive Lightbox and Thrive Lightboxes are what is included in Thrive Architect. But what you want is to open a Thrive Leads Thrive Box. So let's select this one. And now you can see that here in the list, we have the Lightbox that we just created. So the mini squeeze one. And let's apply, save this. Now, when somebody clicks on this button, they will be shown with one of the two variations of the Thrive Leads Thrive Box. As you can see here, we got the list variation. And you will be able to start A-B testing your opt-in forms on your landing pages. And then when you go to your Thrive Leads dashboard, you will be able to get your statistics here right within your dashboard. So that is how you can combine the power of Thrive Leads with the power of the landing pages in Thrive Architect to get higher conversions on your landing pages. Now, I hope you like this tutorial and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.